guys, check this out. Sun's just gone down and we're cruising these roads. And this little guy here is the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake, or what we think it is. <laughs> the problem is, this guy is real young. And this guy can look just like the Mojave Rattlesnake sometimes. But there's a few things on this guy that makes me think he's the uh, Diamondback. First off, if you look at his tail here, he's got some stripes on his tail. He's kind of tan. And then on his tail, it turns white with black stripes. And the Mojave Rattlesnake has kind of thinner stripes, and they're pretty regular. That's, I've been told that the Diamondback Rattlesnake is more commonly has kind of broken stripes, stripes that aren't complete all the way around his tail, and uh, often thicker stripes. And so if you look on his tail here, you can see that he's got this one broken stripe right there. And that makes me think he's probably the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. Man, this is... A pretty awesome snake. I'm shaking. I'm so excited about it. This is uh, this is like the king rattlesnake. I mean, this is a small one, but these guys can get like six foot long. They get huge. This is the one you hear about. This is the uh, you know king of the west out here. These guys are really big, and they can inject a lot of venom into people, and they can their bite can actually kill people. I mean, it's if you don't seek help, these guys are pretty serious deals. So you know, I've got a folder and a net here trying to keep them off me. I don't really want to get bit by this guy. It's even one this small can cause some pretty serious damage. It is a really cool. You can see even harassing him this much, he's not that aggressive towards me. He's not rattling his tail. He's not really doing anything too crazy. He uh it's pretty chilly out here, so I think he's just chilled out. He came out on this road just trying to warm up probably. But man, it's a beautiful snake. It's so cool to see a small one like this. I hope we get to see a larger one. He's neat. You can see he's got what is that? Four buttons? It's like three rattles and a little button on the tip there. And so that means he's shed his skin at least that many times, four times. And so this guy probably wasn't born this year, probably more likely last year. And so, you know, I mean, he could easily shed that many times in two years. But, uh, God, that's a beautiful snake, isn't it? We're going to go ahead and turn him loose. We'll get him off the road a little bit. And uh, hopefully he doesn't come back and lay on it. I mean, that's probably what's going to happen but we'll give him a chance at least, huh? Okay, so guys, check this out. That patch nose snake we were checking out earlier is the uh, same place as we saw him earlier, but this time he's caught one of the whiptail lizards. And look, man, this is cool. You never get to see stuff. All oh, the whiptail's trying to get away. Oh, man, he's mad. Oh, oh, he spotted us. He's got to get going now. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You never get to see something neat stuff in the wild. Oh, he's got to get out of here. He doesn't want us watching. Hey guys, have a look at here. This is uh, sitting underneath the steps of the place where we're staying. And, uh, you know, we've looked around and they've been underneath almost all the steps. This guy's the Black Widow. And this is obviously a female. The males don't look anything like that. They're tiny, tiny little things. This is uh, the Notorious Spider-Man. This is got some pretty powerful venom in her. She, you do not want to get bit by this thing. But, you know, she's underneath our steps, and most people would think that's kind of a scary thing to have so close to where you're sleeping at night. But it's completely harmless. She's going to stay underneath there, and she's actually making sure there's not very many insects around. She's catching a whole bunch of insects. So I think that's a welcome visitor. She's pretty cool. If you look underneath her, you can see she's got the typical red hourglass, just like the Black Widow does. And then on top, she's just jet shiny black. And man, isn't that a creepy looking creature? Look at those long pointy legs. That is like the most menacing looking spider ever, isn't it? She makes herself uh, pretty obvious that it's something dangerous. Black and red are usually warning colors in the animal kingdom. God, that is cool, isn't it? This is way cooler than the brown recluse. Man, the brown recluse is boring compared to these. This is a pretty serious bite if you were to get bit by one. And, uh, people do every once in a while. I mean, they end up in people's shoes and stuff. They kind of like dark places, and they don't really like people very much. So they try to stay away from people. Undersides of stairs are good places for them, or uh, they like in like in rocks and wood piles and stuff. Man, that is a cool spider. We're gonna go put her back in her web and get her away from me so I don't get bit, right? Hey guys, uh, we're taking off, heading to the airport now. Uh, we had a pretty successful trip. We saw cool stuff. 
didn't see the huge variety that I had hoped to see, but we saw some really interesting stuff. I really liked that patch nose snake a lot. He was really cool. Uh, Arizona is a man. It's a different place here. It's really awesome. You know, I definitely want to come back and uh, maybe in September area when it, uh, the monsoon, the rains come in. I think that'll make it a little easier to find stuff. Uh, you know, I think what happened was we're just a little bit too early. We talked to some people here, and it looks like we're just right on the tip of when reptiles just start coming back off from hibernation here. So, uh, you know, maybe it's a little bit too early. We got to see some cool stuff, though. You know, it seems like there's more wildlife in the, uh, you know, the landscaping around our house we're staying at than there is in the desert. I mean, we wandered around in there and didn't see a whole lot of stuff, and then there's lizards everywhere here. So, I don't know. Uh, we're going to take off. It's been a good trip. We had a good time. We got to see the diamondback rattlesnake. And uh, got to get back home, man. I got a frog call video I'm working on. I'm about 50% done with. So uh, we'll see you guys later.